This is the W06 from the 2015 season. The team were able to use the momentum from our first World Constructors Championship to go on and create a car that would achieve even greater successes. The W06 was an evolution of the 2014 car and gains were found in every area of the design and they were able to build on that foundation that had been laid down by the W05. Now naturally the 2014 chassis and power unit were the first versions of their kind in the hybrid era so there was lots of room for improvement and the team made a good step forward. The most obvious change to its predecessor is this new lower nose design. This was a reaction to the tweak regulations. Now the regulations were introduced to avoid some of the interesting designs that we'd seen on some of our competitors' cars in 2014. There were big areas that the design team felt that they could move forward on on the chassis side because in 2014 we had to make sacrifices with the new engine regulations and to accommodate that new power unit most of those issues were resolved in the 2015 car and over at Bricksworth on the engine side they've made a significant step forward too. The hard work over the winter paid off and when we arrived at pre-season testing we hit the ground running. We crammed so much into our pre-season testing schedule that we completed more laps and more running than any of our competitors leaving us in a really good position for the start of the year. The car proved to be the most successful Mercedes F1 car up to that point, scoring 16 wins, 18 poles and 32 podiums from 19 races. <music> 2015 had many highs, but it's not to say that there weren't some lows, and Monaco was a particularly difficult Grand Prix. Even though Nico went on to win the race, it was a bad strategy call that pitted Lewis under the safety car and took him from first to third, missing out on a 1-2 finish at the iconic street circuit of Monaco. We went on to secure our second consecutive championship double victory, with the team securing the Constructors' Championship in Russia and Lewis wrapping up the Drivers' Championship in the USA. Next time we take a look at the 2016 season and the record-breaking W07.